Bell Gardens, California. Bell Gardens police are releasing the identity of a tagger wanted for the shooting of two men and a woman attending a family get-together. There have been three gang killings in the same neighborhood in the past six weeks. The latest one took the life of a 15-year-old. Kids playing basketball at a Bell Gardens park witnessed the murder last night. The car went up in flames in Bell Gardens shopping center overnight, but it was not a routine call for firefighters. There was a body inside. This longtime Bell Gardens resident was picking up his grandkids when he says he heard three gunshots. The city that made me fall in love with Latina women. I just remember moving here thinking, damn, this city has the prettiest girls I've ever seen. That's what I realized I loved Latinas. The guys to roll these streets, tagging up all these walls on people's property and shit. I won't tell you what I write, but I bet you some of it is still on some of these sidewalk streets. Me and my boy Rick, Fat Rick, we had Fat Rick and we had Skinny Rick, but me and my boy Fat Rick used to uh, walk these streets. That was the church that I attended for a long period of time, the Bell Gardens Church of God. Probably an all-Spanish church now. I don't even think it's a English church anymore. My best friend Rick used to live over here. Wow, it's changed. Oh my God, they painted it. Let's go inside my old church. <clears throat> this is my old church, man. Damn. My little brother used to go to daycare here. I'm gonna get out. This is a trip. Park right here, play baseball in this little parking lot right here. As a kid, it looks so much smaller now. It's my church right there. Church I went to for years. Still called the Church of God, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Very good time spent in this church. Remember there being some good people in this church. There were even a few white people back then. I highly doubt if there's one white person in this church now. But yeah, this is where I used to go. This was the youth center over here. No way, Monty Snow is the reverend? What? Monty Snow is the reverend. I remember Monty, he was our youth counselor. That's pretty cool. Awesome is that? I remember Monty. Wow, it's very cool. This is the entrance to the church. I wonder if it's open. I'm kind of curious. Oh, no, it's closed. Would love to go take a little stroll through it. Remember picking my brother up from this daycare here. I think that's where the pastor lives. This is the pastor's house, I believe. But we don't want to disturb the pastor. Then you, they would also have the side entrance over here. And it's open. Ooh, let's go check out my old church. I am so excited. I have not set foot in this place probably in whew, 25 years. It looks like the service is going on, so we gotta be quiet. Oh, this is so awesome. It's bringing back so many memories. church halls. There's all these clothes hanging up here for the wardrobe. We would always do plays. All of these doors. I would literally go in all of these doors. I don't know what they were for. Like some had pianos. Wow, I am tripping out. I'm taking a trip down memory lane right now. This is crazy. And it looks so much smaller. It seemed so much bigger when I was a kid. So much bigger. The cleaning people are in here cleaning up. God, so cool. Used to do plays on that stage, Christmas plays. Could you imagine me up there doing Christmas plays? God, 
I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it. It's so crazy. I sat right here, fell asleep in these pews. Ah, what a good trip down memory lane that was. Wow, I I'm getting emotional actually. It's kind of crazy. Wow. Ugh. I just talked to the current pastor, um, and he said that it's it is mainly a Spanish church now. Um, God, that's so crazy. Wow. Hmm. It's the amount of, of memories, emotions. My friends lived right across the street. My best friend lived right there. But the house wasn't burgundy. Now it's burgundy. That's so crazy. It was a, it was a white house. Pool in the back. And once again, it looks so much bigger. When I was younger, when I was 12, that house right there looked huge to me. And it's not even a big, big house. But that's where my homeboy Fat Rick lived. RIP to his sister, Valerie. She was the homie. Cute little girl named, uh, God, what was her name? Cute ass girl lived right there. And then the homies, Diana and, uh, Diana and Yvette lived right there. Ah, such good memories. <sighs> you wouldn't think that this would, is number 10 on this list of cities of the worst places to live in California. Unfortunately, it, it is. Um, ah, a lot of crime in these streets, but I tell you, man. I tell you, I was never afraid to come here. I always knew when I came to church, it was, it was kind of a... It's gonna be peace. All right, had to reminisce a little bit. Smoked a blunt in the church parking lot. I'm sure God is going to forgive me. A lot of emotions, a lot of memories. Rolling through the city of Bell Gardens. Let's keep going. So yeah, I would walk home, make a left. So I'd make a left out of church. <laughs> and I'd walk a couple of blocks to my block which was Colmar. That's where the Nueva twins live, Diane and Yvette, two little cuties. I was always trying to get it down, but they wasn't having it. Uh, my homeboy Alfonso lived right here. I remember that, right in that house right there. And now we are coming up to the infamous Colmar Avenue. That's my hood right there. I'd make a right here. Ooh, look, neighborhood hasn't changed. Is that a gunshot I heard? Quite possible. So this is my old hood right here. I'm a fuck it, I'm a pull into my old. This is right here, this is my old. This is right where I lived, right here. I'd pull right back there. My homeboy Roger lived right there, one of the only white guys left in uh, Bell Gardens. You would play in the back right here. I wonder if the addresses are still the same. I don't want to give people shit away, but that was it. Six eight two five. That's my old hood right there. Wow, how crazy, huh? Let me. Uh... Hey, remember, I mentioned Fat Rick earlier. That's where Skinny Rick lived, right in those apartments. He had an upstairs and a downstairs apartment, and that's where Skinny Rick lived. Shout out Skinny Rick. They were both named Rick, so that was the best way to. Describe them. Yep, right there. That's where Skinny Rick lived. And then I walk up and down. We play football up and down these blocks. The twins, Tony and Renee, lived right here. Also named Loetta. Right back there. The homeboy Ruben Jimenez lived right back there. I always had a crush on his mom, low key. We used to buy firecrackers right there. Oh my god, the little 50 cent firecrackers. We used to buy the little 50 cent firecrackers right there every 4th of July. This place was fucking cracking. The homie uh, Ramiro lived right here, back there. I think he was the one that first one that introduced me to Too Short. And my homeboy um, was the first one to introduce me to, my homeboy Ruben was the first one to introduce me to uh, NWA. And then the homeboys uh, Gabriel, Gabriel lived here. It was a trip. The, the Gabriel and Jose, they were twins. I do think one of them went to jail for murder, unfortunately. Um, this house right here was always the rich house, it seemed, because every Christmas they would hook their shit up. Wow, this even looks smaller. 
This house used to look huge when I was a kid. Wow. I make a ride if I want to go to the store. This is back when they, they would still let you buy cigarettes and shit for your mom. Even though my mom didn't smoke, but like one of my friend's mom would write a little note. Send him to the store and give it to the liquor store guy and he would give him cigarettes right there. That's where the liquor store was. It's a medical clinic now. And Sam's Burgers. Sam's Burgers had the best burgers ever. Oh my god, I would love to go in there. I used to go in there and play video games. Sam's Burger right there. Huh. It's right on the corner of Florence and Abanaria. I would walk to school, to middle school right that way. My homeboy Cesar De La Rosa lived. Wait, he either lived straight? No. I think Cesar lived further down. Oh, I should have called Caesar and let him know I was going to be in the neighborhood, man. Oh, well. Yeah, that's, that's my old hood, man. God, so many memories, especially church. That was a trip. This used to be a donut shop, right? I think this was the donut shop. And they sold the best powdered donuts with red filling you will ever have in your life. I'm calling it. That Dee Dee's discount has been, that always changes. That's been something that, that was like something every year it was a different name. John Supermarket, Juan Supermarket. That Auto Zone used to be a Foot Locker and right next to it was a Kenny Shoes. Foot Locker and Kenny Shoes for any of my old folks out there. Yes, I would actually walk to elementary. It's a big walk for an elementary kid. And then look, on the left you got probably one of the, if not, the only Pioneer's Chicken left. Pioneer's still there, still looks the same too. Just killing our people. One fried wing at a time. Do you guys even have, does anybody ever see these anymore? Pioneer? Nah, nope. Oh, that Super A is still there. Been there forever. We used to rent videos from the video store that's probably not there anymore. We rent fucking thrashing and... I don't know what else is out back then. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, you would, uh, if you're feeling really adventurous, you keep going down, keep going down. There was a little riverbed coming up that we used to all ride our bikes on. And it's what separated Bell Gardens from a much nicer, a much cleaner, a much less crime infected city, also known as. Downey. Downey, California, which we moved to Downey uh, after Bell Gardens, and I tell you, I felt like I fucking moved to Beverly Hills, baby. And it's just, boom, right over the bridge here, and now you're in the city of Downey. That was me 30 or 25 years ago, riding my bikes into Downey. And you could see the significant change, like as soon as you kind of get into the city. Nicer palm trees, cleaner restaurants. So yeah, that was Bell Gardens. Thanks for taking a trip down memory lane with me.